Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Not good to see you again. I'm going to take you through a recreation of what I found this morning. I'll flip you around. Came down this morning to take the kids to school. Noticed the driveway is all wet. Coming from the garage. Uh oh, that's not a good sign. Here's all this water from. So I opened the garage. Crossing my fingers, a pipe had burst. <laughs> Hoping that my newly installed water heater had got a leak. Nope, all dry. Nothing wrong there. Maybe a tank has sprung a leak, but everything's fine. Water everywhere. A hose in that tank. No, a tank hasn't burst. A fish keeper is a complete moron. This fish keeper. My Congo Tetra tank. All dead. Because some idiot, this idiot, was doing a water change last night and left the hose on. Like a complete moron. Every single fish. Every last one. So I was hoping to make today's video starting to come down and talk about some more new fish that I bought that I was really excited about. Which we're going to be adding to the African tank. But instead, I have a bag of dead fish. If there's any silver lining to this, not all the fish are dead. Some of the bristle noses have survived. Uh, so I've lost two bristle noses. There's another four, I think, in there that are still alright. Oh, still alive. I haven't killed them yet. Uh, I'm trying to think of the timeline. I think what's happened is it's about half past six last night I was in the garage finishing off some water changes and that's the first time I checked it until eight o'clock this morning. So it's been running for nearly 14 hours. Uh, the water actually is warm at the moment. I think what's happened is it's run because I was all excited about my shower valve yesterday and how water was coming out at the correct temperature. So I think what's happened is it's run at 26 degrees until it's emptied the water tank and then ran cold, killed everything and then started to heat back up again when the hot water kicked in again once it had emptied the tank. So, I just made a video, I released a video yesterday about how much in love with the Congo textures I was, and now I've killed them all. <sighs> no getting away from it, this is completely my fault. Um, can't blame mechanical failure, can't blame anyone else than me, obviously. <laughs> had a conversation with my discus breeder the other day where he said he wanted me to take all these discus because he knew they'd be looked after if he gave them to me and then I go and do something stupid like this it's it's not the first time I've killed fish I'm sure it'll not be the last time it's just particularly annoying given it's such an obvious thing such a stupid thing to do So, I will likely mope around for the rest of the day. I will get pissed off at myself. I think that's natural. Um, I'm not going to give up or anything. Well, it's not going to be all that dramatic. This is, look, I'm a fish keeper. I'm an idiot. I've made a mistake. I'm not going to hide it. I just wanted to show everyone. Not that anybody wants to see this, but it's... It is part of the hobby, you will make mistakes. Hopefully you won't make mistakes as stupid as this. Um, what I need to do now is figure out a way to stop doing this because it isn't the first time I've left a hose running. Normally I flood something, I find a flood, I fix it and nothing too bad happens. But this was catastrophic. Every other fish in the fish room, absolutely fine. It's just that one tank. So if that is a silver lining, then everything else is fine. I was really excited to get started with this African tank as well, so I, I will buy more Congo Tetras but it really it sucks, it makes you feel bad when you 
you're almost feed, treating fish like a commodity at that point. I've killed some, I'll just buy some more. No, I need to learn a lesson from this. I need to figure out something that I can do about it. So, no doubt there will be people in the comments saying, oh, don't worry about it, this thing's happened. There'll be people in the comments going, I knew you were an idiot. I saw this coming. If you have any ideas, I'm going to go and start researching water timers, things like that. See if I can implement that into my water change routine. Ultimately, I need to get back to my drip system again because then I can't overflow anything. I don't have to do water changes and I won't forget things. Um, but yeah, that's it's, it's a bad day. It's not a nice thing to happen. Especially as my last video was all about how happy I was. I got over the hump of everything being a bit of a chore in fish keeping and starting to get fed up with things. Everything was working, everything was doing well. And of course, when you make a video, so that's probably why it happened, because I made a video saying everything was working well, everything was going well, I was really enjoying everything. Next morning, ha, we'll show you. <sighs> do have some new fish, and well, they are awesome. But I'm finding it very tough to seem excited about it right now, so I might save that for another day. So I think I'm going to start looking for things like this, automatic water timers, uh, where I can set, I don't know, like a maximum, I used to have one of these, it was a mechanical one and it was a bit dodgy, it used to <laughs> stick on, which kind of goes against the whole point of having the thing, um, but I'm just going to have a, a look through these, uh, some of these type of things where you can set like a maximum of, I want the water to run for no more than 30 minutes and then it will cut itself off. I think we should be able to get something like that sorted out. Um, yeah, I just need to have a look through and see which ones are going to be good. If you have any suggestions, by all means, let me know in the comments. Maybe we'll find one that's a little bit better and can be idiot-proof. Anyway, I think that'll about cut it for today. That's all I can handle. I just wanted to fess up and show you my monumental mistake. And yeah, hopefully I will learn from this and I'm not here again making the same type of video again and again. Um, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, I kind of want to apologize to someone, but I don't know who to apologize to. It's one of those ridiculous things. Join me in the live stream. We'll talk about it tonight if you watch this video. This is a very quick video I'm making on Friday morning. I'll stick it out there just so as it updates everyone. And I'll see you in the live stream tonight at 9. Bye.